BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 Electrical Circuits. I'm going to cover a lot of GCSE revision here. It's a difficult topic. You should be taking notes. Go through this very carefully. Electrical Circuits. It's useful to think of a, an electrical circuit as like a, a central heating system. You've got a pump and the pump produces pressure and the pressure is pushing the water around the circuit okay and then the water goes round the circuit and it goes through radiators and when the water goes through a radiator then it loses pressure okay it loses energy it loses pressure the amount of water in the circuit stays the same and the rate of flow of water the amount of water per second uh, liters per second if you like is the same everywhere if you think about it it has to be the same everywhere okay so the pump is pushing water and the water flows around the circuit and it loses pressure uh, and then it goes back to the pump and the pump gives it pressure again and it goes around again now what's this got to do with electricity well here's an electrical circuit and the pump is the power supply it's the battery and the battery is made up of several cells you'll notice here we've got one two three cells and the battery pr provides a voltage so the voltage is like the pressure the voltage is pushing the the current around the circuit it's pushing charge around the circuit uh, at the bottom there there's a bulb uh, the bulb is like the radiator and when we put a voltage when there's a voltage across the bulb like when there's a pressure difference across the bulb then the current will flow through it like charge flows through the bulb and the current here is the rate of flow of charge and you're allowed to think of charge as being like little tiny electrons bit more to it than that but this will do us okay so this charge these little tiny electrons are flowing around the circuit and the current is the rate of flow of charge if we want to measure the voltage now we can measure the voltage across a power supply with a, a voltmeter that will if you like measuring the pressure across our pump and we can also measure the voltage across a bulb by putting a voltmeter across a bulb and that will tell us like the pressure drop across the bulb the difference in pressure the voltage across the bulb and voltmeters go in parallel okay they go across the component voltmeters go in parallel if i want to measure the the rate of flow of charge if I want to measure the current then I use an ammeter now the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal that's it flows from the big one round the circuit to the little one this is a, a simple series circuit and the current is the same everywhere like the rate of flow of water is the same everywhere the rate of flow of charge is the same everywhere we measure the current using an ammeter and we can put the ammeter either before the bulb or after the bulb it doesn't matter because the current is the same we say that the ammeter goes in series so the ammeter measures the current through the bulb we put a voltage across the bulb and a current flows through the bulb and we measure the current with an ammeter now how much current will flow through the bulb and it depends on two things it depends on the voltage that we put across the bulb and it depends on the resistance of the bulb now the voltage across the bulb if we put more voltage across something then you'll get more current if we have a pump which produces more pressure then the rate of flow of water will be bigger okay so big voltage means a, a big current okay because you're pushing harder so more current will flow resistance is how hard it is 
for the current to flow through something. And so the bigger the resistance, then the smaller the current. Resistance is a bit like friction. If there's more friction, then it'll be slower. If you like, it's a, a thinner pipe, so there'll be less current flowing through it. So the current depends on the voltage and it depends on the resistance. Remember, big voltage means big current. Uh, big resistance means small current. Uh, this component is called a resistor and a resistor has a fixed resistance. Its resistance is the same all the time. The resistance of something like a bulb actually changes. Its resistance gets bigger when it gets hotter. But this is a, a fixed resistor and it's supposed to have the same resistance all the time. And we use these to control the current. If you want a large current, then you have a small resistance. If you want a small current, then you have a large resistance. OK, so resistors are used to control current uh, and you can control voltage uh, as well using resistors. Last component for now in this video is something called a diode. Now, a diode is a bit like a valve. Uh, on the left there, you'll find that you have a big current. Uh, on the right, you'll find that you have a very, very small current. In fact, no current, we will say. So it's, it's controlling the current by only letting it go one way. And that's in the direction of the arrow. And it's like a valve. It only lets the current flow one way. And that's a diode. Here's a little exercise for you to do. Match these up. OK, so pause the video, have a look at them, match them up. And I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. And there you go. Voltage. This is how hard you're pushing the charge. OK, you're pushing it. That's the pressure from the pump, the voltage. Current is the rate of flow of charge. Charge is the stuff which is actually flowing. You can think of it as electrons, if you like. And then resistance, this tries to stop the charge from flowing, a bit like friction. Here are the quantities that we've talked about. There's voltage, current and resistance. Voltage, capital V, is measured in volts which is also capital V, and you measure it with a voltmeter, which you put in parallel. Current is capital I. It's a bit weird, but it is. Current is capital I. It's measured in amps or amperes, and it has amperes has the symbol capital A. Uh, resistance is capital R, and it is measured in ohms, which has the symbol omega. That's the Greek letter omega. Voltage, current and resistance.